Tonight, new accusations from former members of a Collin and County church who say it's actually a cult. The leader of Overcomer Ministry is under investigation after he can be seen on video reportedly touching the chest of a 12 year old girl. Now for the first time, three women are telling our Harv Jacobs about what they call the horror that happened behind the gates of the ministry in this Live 5 News investigation. There is a self-proclaimed prophet who spreads his message on the radio. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. And Jesus Christ, Yahshua, is coming again in your lifetime. This is the last generation prepared to meet your God. Some say the 84-year-old so-called preacher actually is a predator who preys on young girls and women. A video recently surfaced that apparently shows Stair cupping the breast of a 12-year-old girl during a church service. Listen to what he says. I'm going to touch them things so nobody else can touch them. The video brought back some bad memories for three former members of Stair's church. They all decided to speak out after seeing the video. Stacy, who asked us not to show her face, moved with her family to Stair's farm in 1999. At the time, she was 17 years old. The farm and church are located in the Kennedy's community in Colleton County. I think it's that he's really charismatic. He's really um, powerful sounding, or at least back then, with his words. Donna Jackson and her family moved to Stairs Farm in 1995. At the time, Jackson was married and in her 30s. It wasn't that difficult for me to do because I was under the impression that this was a man of God and that what we were doing was the right thing to do. Lita, who also asked that we not show her face, moved to the Overcomer Farm with her family in 1997. At the time, she was 17. We all assume that, okay, he hears from God, and whatever he say do, this is what you do. The brochure for Overcomer Ministry portrays the farm as a place where people seek to live together for God and each other. The brochure states, folks will go nowhere, no shopping or trips. Your life will be here on the farm until Jesus comes. Families also are forced to give all their possessions to Stare and his ministry. Just everything, we went with nothing. The women say their families learned to be self-sufficient, growing their own food. Soon they saw some red flags. Started giving me hugs and he never gave me, he never really paid me much attention at all, except he'd asked me a couple times how old I was. He made a beeline for me pretty quickly once we moved there. Lita says she was forced to live apart from her parents. That's when I started encountering um, sexual advances from stairs. I still give you a kiss. <laughs> Stacy says one day the elderly preacher did the unthinkable to her inside a trailer on the compound. He just sexually assaulted me right there, you know, and um, I couldn't, I still couldn't talk. I couldn't say anything. I just basically let it happen. I just covered my hands over my face and let it happen because I didn't know what else to do. Lita says she also was sexually assaulted by Stair for more than a year. I was like, I don't want to do this. Can you please leave me alone? He was like, well, do you, don't you want to please God? Jackson says she was attacked, but not sexually assaulted. He grabbed me, and I could feel him, if you understand what I mean, because he had pressed himself against me that firmly. Jackson told her husband about the encounter. The two other women were afraid to speak up. Even if you thought in your mind against him, you were in danger of going to hell or being judged by God. Nobody is going to believe anything you say. Um, if you say something against him, you're going to hell. You're just like outcasts. I was told to just be quiet and let God handle it, um, which is why this time I feel like I have to say something. In 2002, Stacy went to the Colorado County Sheriff's Office. Stair was charged with sexually assaulting her. I approached Stair about the charge back then. Reverend Stair, anything you want to say, sir? Bless you. Are you running a cult at that compound, sir? I bless you, sir. Stacy says prosecutors told her because Stair was old and it was the holiday season, it would be hard to get a conviction. Stair pleaded guilty to a lesser charge of assault and battery. Lita did not ask for charges to be filed. 
The former members now say what they initially thought was a church is something else. It's a cult. It's absolutely 100% cult. Today, I call it a cult. Then, I would have said that it was a, a church community. Does this man have that kind of power over people? It's brainwashing at its finest. Now, years later, the women say the recently posted video looks all too familiar. Now, he's abusing children in front of an entire congregation. And not only in front of an entire congregation, he is actually bold enough to videotape it and put it on his website. I was disgusted, and but I wasn't surprised um, because this is something he's been doing for forever. I was tore up. It's like everything that I've kept hidden for all of these years, all of those emotions and feelings just came rushing back up. I was messed up. I went down to the Overcomer compound to try to get a response from Reverend Stair. There are no trespassing signs outside the gate, so I called for a comment. I'm standing outside your gate. I interviewed some women who have made some accusations against Reverend Stair. I want to see if I might be able to get an interview with him, talk to him. I was told Stair was not available. I left my number, but never heard back. The former church members who came forward all eventually left the ministry. All say they still bear scars from their time at the farm. And all he does is destroy families. In the name of Jesus, that's what he does. And I want people in Walterboro and in Colleton County to realize that this is going on right there around you. And people that can stop it are not stopping it. And I would just really admonish everyone, anyone who's ever thought about going there, don't. Don't do it. You will regret. You will regret it. Harv Jacobs, Live 5 News. So far, no new charges have been filed against Stair. The Culleton County Sheriff's Office and the State Law Enforcement Division, they are investigating him after that latest video surfaced. Of course, we will keep you posted on the outcome. Now, 